Hey guys, I'm Tara. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about creating a holistic night routine. So we'll talk about what this is, ways you can create one, and I'll be taking you through things I do in my own night, evening routine to help give you inspiration in creating your own. So with all that said, let's get right into the video. So we often think about how morning routines can be really beneficial, but night routines can be beneficial too. They can help you one, just kind of unwind and get into a more relaxed state before you go to bed. It can help you clear away any like negative energy that you've picked up throughout the day and it could just help you start your next day off in a better state. So there's a lot of benefits that a night routine can offer and I feel like morning routines to me make more sense to be structured because that's the time where we are more structured, we're trying to be more productive. The nighttime to me is really just a more intuitive time. So I don't find that you need to have a super structured night routine. For me, mine's very intuitive and it changes night to night. It's not like structured like my morning routine. So I really just go based off of my intuition. Having some structure in the beginning might be helpful just to get you going, but after you kind of get into the routine of doing these things at night, then I would say following your intuition can be really helpful. If you watched my holistic morning routine video, you probably already know what it means to make a routine holistic, but I'm just gonna review it quickly here. So saying a holistic night routine, it means you're doing things to care for your entire being. So caring for your body, your mind, and your soul. They're all connected. So it's not like you could totally separate them and be like, oh, I'm only gonna do this and it's only gonna benefit my mind. It's probably still gonna benefit the other two, but I find when you're trying to create a routine and you're trying to make it holistic, it can be helpful to dedicate a task for each part of you. So you do something that's gonna be benefiting your body at night, which would be something that's gonna help you unwind, relax. Then you're gonna do something to nourish the mind and then you do something to nourish the soul, the spirit, maybe cleansing your energy. So that's the way I find it's helpful to structure your routine to make sure you're really just caring for your entire being and that makes it really holistic. Okay, we're almost gonna get into the routine. The last thing I wanna talk about is when you should do this routine. So ideally, in a perfect world, you would do your night night routine before you go to bed, so close to before you're going to bed. For me, I'm a night person, so I'm usually up pretty late, and I feel like if I just leave my night routine till like one in the morning, I'm probably less likely to do it, so I usually will still do it earlier in the night, even though I know I'm probably gonna be up late. I'm not saying that's the best thing to do, I'm just being honest, that's what I do, so you do have to make this work for you. If it works for you to do it right before you go to bed, that is probably the best, but if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't mean you can't have a night routine. I am filming this at night and I am really enjoying filming at night. I definitely, this is more my time than filming in the afternoon like I normally do. I usually don't film in the morning because I'm really not a morning person, but yeah, I'm liking this night vibe. So with all that said, let's get into crafting the routine. So I'll take you through things that I do. The things I'm gonna take you through, it doesn't mean I do them every single night, unless I'm having like, you know, a super elaborate self-care night. I'm not gonna do these things every night, but I'm gonna take you through things that I would incorporate into a night routine. Like I said, I'm pretty intuitive with my night routine, and it's not super structured, so it's not gonna be the same day to day. So, let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna go through the three steps. So ideally, when you're crafting your own night routine, you want to do one thing for your body or that you're gonna dedicate to your body. It doesn't mean it can't benefit your mind or your soul. You're gonna do one thing for your mind, one thing for your soul, your spirit. You don't have to do it in the specific order we're going through, so just know that. You can mix it up. So first up, we're gonna talk about nourishing our body within our holistic night routine. So when you're thinking about doing something for your body at night, this is the time where we want to promote restfulness, we want to promote relaxation, we want to allow ourselves to unwind, to start to slow down, right? So you're gonna wanna pick an activity that helps you do that. So a classic option that I'm sure you're not surprised I'm gonna suggest would be like a restorative yoga flow, a gentle yoga flow, something to help you ease into the evening. And I don't do yoga every night of the week. Usually probably like one or two nights of the week I'll do an evening based yoga flow. I do really enjoy those, but that's a really good way to nourish your body, promote relaxation and allow yourself to start to unwind. So meditation is another option. That's gonna be beneficial 
definitely for all parts of you, but you can make it specific for your body. So particularly if you decide to relax and say Shavasana and just really focus on letting your muscles relax, that's gonna be really nourishing for your body and a great night routine activity. A pretty common way that I'll kind of focus on nourishing my body in my night routine is to do some gua sha within my skincare routine. So I'm usually doing my skincare routine every night. I don't do gua sha every night, but I do it a lot because I just do really enjoy it. I also get to use my homemade face oil for this, which is really nice. So this isn't gonna be a gua sha tutorial. Gua sha, it's pretty gentle pressure. You're not doing deep pressure on your face. So it's not like you're massaging into the muscles of your face. But I find doing the gua sha still gives me that relaxation. It's a reminder to relax the muscles of my face. And a lot of us hold tension in the muscles of our face without realizing it, particularly through our jaw. So this is something that I do really enjoy doing in my night routine just to start to promote that relaxation. And those are just a few ideas to help you get started. You're not limited to those things, so choose what feels nourishing for you and your body and something that you enjoy doing. Next up, we have our mind. So a super simple way that you can nourish your mind at night is doing a simple like gratitude practice, maybe thinking about three things that you're grateful for that happened during your day or three positive things that happened to your during your day just to get your mind focused on the positive and starting to let go of some of the negative. So that could be something super simple you could do for your mind in the evening. Another thing you could do is read. So if you're reading to nourish your mind, I would suggest reading something that's uplifting, something that's related to personal growth, or maybe something in the realm of spirituality. Those are gonna be things that are just really beneficial for your mind in the evening. One, reading is just relaxing in general, but it's also gonna create space for growth and reflection, so it could be a really great activity for your mind. I personally, so I usually will read in my morning routine and I have like a specific book that I'm like that's my morning routine book and then I'll have other books that I'll read at other times maybe I'll read them at night so I don't read every single night but usually we'll say twice a week maybe I'll read as an activity within my nighttime routine so yeah like I said my routine's not super structured so it does vary night to night but i just want to give you guys some ideas on what you can do lastly we're going to talk about meditation again because you could use this for any of the categories you just make it more specific for whichever category you're targeting i know a lot of people say the morning is the best time for meditation maybe it is but for some of you if you're like me maybe nighttime is better i love nighttime meditations i'm more intuitive at night it is the more intuitive time of the day so i love nighttime meditations maybe you'll like them too if you're gonna do meditation to benefit the mind in your meditation you'll work to quiet the mind you'll work to create some stillness and there's many different meditations out there that you can do so you could do whatever really helps you get into that space last up we have the soul and there are so many ways that you can nurture your soul in your holistic night routine I'm gonna give you some ideas just to help give you some inspiration. So one idea is to just connect with the moon. So you can honor the moon cycles, you can gaze at the moon, you can just simply appreciate the moon's beauty. So there's many ways you can work with the moon, but that's a good soul nourishing activity. At least I find it's really nourishing for the soul and tonight happens to be actually a full moon. So I'll probably do some moon activities in my night routine tonight. Another way to connect with your soul, your spirit, or to just nourish it in the evening would be to do some energy cleansing. There's so many different ways you can cleanse your energy. If you like smudging, you can smudge to clear your energy. You can use sound bowls. You could do a shower ritual using the water to cleanse your energy, or you could just cleanse your energy yourself. You actually don't need any external props or any external things, you can clear your energy yourself as well. So there's many options here, but that might be a good soul oriented part of your night routine to really revitalize your soul and spirit. Mantra, I've talked about this before. That's one of my favorite ways to connect with my spiritual side. So 
You could definitely use mantra. If you're gonna use mantra, choose something that's uplifting or that just helps you feel connected to your spiritual side. And that's another great night activity. And lastly, of course, meditation can be used here. So in your meditation, by relaxing your body, quieting your mind, you're gonna create the space for you to connect with your soul and spirit. You could use meditation to nourish all parts of you if you wanna make a super simple nighttime routine. If you want to do this, I'll give you some ideas on how you can intentionally make sure that you are nourishing all parts of you. So you would first start with the body, work on just relaxing through your muscles, letting go of muscle tension. So letting go any muscles that you don't need to use while you're sitting in meditation, working to let them go. Then you would come to the mind and work to quiet the mind. So any thoughts that come up, you start to just let them fade into the background. And a really great way to quiet the mind is to just really focus on your breath and let everything else fade into the background. Once you do these two things, then you would start to find that soul connection. So you might not need to do anything additional. Once you relax the body, once you quiet the mind, you might already just feel that soul connection and you could just sit with that in your meditation or you can focus on your third eye, you could focus on your crown chakra, you could focus on feeling the energy around your body. There's really a lot of options. It's gonna be really what resonates with you and your soul, but that would be your last step in your meditation. And then you'll sit with that for as long as you want until you're ready to come back out to the world around you and your nighttime routine is complete. So I hope that helped you get some inspiration for creating a holistic night routine for yourself. I definitely have resources that I could link below. Like I have evening yoga flows. I have a blog post on creating a shower ritual. So there's a lot of things that we talked about today that I probably have additional content on if you want to go deeper into that. So I'll link any associated things that I could think of in the description down below. But that's all from me for today. I do have a Patreon for anyone who is interested in supporting me further and just diving deeper into a yoga practice. I'll put a link to that in the description down below as well. But otherwise, yeah, thank you guys for being here. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button and I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for being here. Bye everyone.